What is going on everyone? Dogsy here, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be going through how to counter Cypher as an agent. So if you saw my video last week, I made a quick one on how to counter Sage, and we're gonna continue on with that series in today's video, and we're gonna talk about exactly how to counter Cypher. Now, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. My name's Dogsy. I make Valorant guides and tutorials here on my channel. So if you wanna see more videos like this or you do enjoy these type of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, and that notification bell that will let you know when I upload new videos. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So in this video, I wanna give five quick tips on how you can all counter Cypher. Now, some of these might seem fairly obvious, but sometimes it's the obvious tips that we need to just keep reinforcing, keep hearing, keep applying ourselves in the game. And sometimes it's just the really common sense stuff that we don't think about. So for tip number one, I'm gonna recommend that you learn common tripwire spots that Cypher places because there is only a certain amount of walls and setups and different lineups that Cypher can use for his tripwire. And if you know all these common tripwire spots, you can actually keep these in mind as you're attacking certain bomb sites when you're about to push a certain area, you can be weary whether or not there is a tripwire set up there. The other thing about learning where all the common tripwire spots are is that you can counter them by either through skills or hero play or agent selection, I should say. So for example, you can use a raised jump pack or a Sova shock dart to destroy them. So if you know where the common spots are, you can fire your shock dart or you can use a raised jump pack to those common areas and you can destroy those tripwires. Secondly, you can use a jump dash to break through the tripwire, right? If you're attacking a bomb site and your jet, you can be the first one in, dash through that tripwire and you can open up the site for you and your teammates to attack. Other examples, you can use Omen to TP over or around the tripwire. You're at, you can get through it without activating it and notifying the enemy cipher that you actually went through it. Or for example, you can use the Phoenix ultimate. So if you're about to push an area, you can activate your ultimate as Phoenix and just try to run through, uh, take, take it for your team or whatever, and you and your teammates can push onto the bomb site. So there's many, many ways to counter the Cypher tripwire, and it is just all about knowing where all the common spots are. Because once you know where all the common spots are, I think the tripwires are less effective, less practical for defense because everyone expects them to be there. So as they're approaching the bomb site, they will kind of just shoot it out or destroy it before attacking and so it's very very useful as a first tip to learn all the common tripwire spots on all maps. Now tip number two is going to be attacking with your teammates. Now what I mean by this is Cypher is best known for solo holding bomb sites. so for example if we talk about split we think about the B bomb site. Cypher is usually soloing this bomb site by himself so if you and your teammates can split B and what I mean by that is a few of you attack B main, a few of you attack the B heaven area. If you guys time your push or time your attack so that you're hitting the B bomb site at exactly the same time Cypher's gonna have a very hard time defending both sides because what's gonna happen is one side is gonna have to deal with kind of tripwires being activated, activating his cyber cage, holding the push from B main. And then the other thing is there's obviously your teammates pushing out of B heaven onto the B bomb site. So it's gonna make it very hard for him to defend both sides or both angles or both areas as you'd like to call it. And it's just very, very useful in a general concept to time your pushes as a team. So regardless of whether or not you're playing against a Cypher or you're trying to counter Cypher, in general, you should be pushing as a team onto the bomb site from multiple areas so that you can pinch defenders and trap them on there, kill them quickly and get trades and all that kind of stuff. And that will help you and your teammates win more rounds on the attacking side. All right, so tip number three is gonna be about gaming Cypher's ultimate. Now, what I mean by this is you want to try and catch him out or mind game him on where you and your teammates are actually going. So for example, if you notice the Cypher ultimate is up, what you and your teammates may want to do is to group up at a certain bomb site. Perhaps one of you gets killed and Cypher uses his ultimate on that body. Now you can all be seen outside that bomb site. So what Cypher is gonna tell his team is there's four of them outside my bomb site. They're gonna rotate, they're gonna move off the other bomb sites and you and your teammates can actually quickly rotate to the other bomb sites. Another example of this is in clutch situations. For example, let's say you're in a 1v1 and the Cypher uses the ultimate. Make it look like you're facing another direction or you're running towards another direction. And then once he's used it, you can kind of turn around and move in another direction and kind of trick him where you're going because the Cypher's last information or latest information that he's received is that you're looking towards a certain bomb site, you're heading towards a certain bomb site, but you can kind of mind game it and actually turn and go a different direction. So. Try to mind game Cypher's ultimate. It's actually very, very easy to do so. You just have to kind of sell it or make it look like you're going to a certain area when in fact you're actually not. 
All right, so tip number four is gonna be about destroying Cypher's camera as much as you can. Cypher's camera is probably one of the best pieces of utility in his kit because it gives him a lot of information, not only at the start around for peeking corners, but also holding or during around for holding bomb sites, kind of notifying whether there's anybody pushing a certain area. Also in post plant situations, kind of notifying where the enemies may be coming from in a retake situation or a kind of attacking situation or even just 1v1 clutch situations, right? If you kind of activate your camera, have a quick peek on a certain area, if you can see it's clear, you know the person in that clutch situation is not coming from that area, and it kind of gives you a little bit of peace of mind that you're not gonna be flanked or shot from that area. So Cypher's camera is probably one of the most useful pieces of utility for him, and so that is why you wanted to destroy it, because if you don't destroy it, he can pick it up, use it again later in the round, and the more he uses it, obviously the more information he gets, Gets, more information he gets the higher the likelihood of him and his team winning the round because information is key in this game right if you have information you can rotate early you can deny plants you can push very aggressively if you know somebody's very uh, mispositioned or positioned incorrectly on the map uh, you can do all kinds of things with the cypher camera if it gets you the right type of information so cypher camera destroy it as much as you can you don't want to give him that information because that is going to help you and your teammates win the round Okay, so fifth and final tip is going to be about being creative against the Cypher. So for example, if a Cypher is very, very good with his one-way Cyber Cages, what you can do is you can smoke off those angles that he watches that Cyber Cage one-way from. Another example, if you know he puts his tripwires in a certain area, you can pre-fire those areas or you can just throw a raised jump pack, you can throw a Sova Shock Dart, you can basically do anything to destroy his traps. He might be putting his camera in the same spot every single round, destroy his camera every round, just pre-fire that spot. So there's a lot of things you can do just to be a little bit creative, right? It might take you a first few rounds to work out where he's putting his tripwires, where he's putting his camera, where he's putting his cyber cage. But once you kind of work out where he's putting it, in general, most ciphers keep putting their stuff in the same spot. And it does get quite predictable. So if you know where he's putting his stuff, you can do certain plays to just play around it or kind of just bait out his utility, right? So an example is you can push as a five man towards a bomb site and force him to activate his cyber cage. Now, even though you and your teammates might not actually be committing to that push, the fact that you've activated his cyber cage means now he doesn't have a one way cyber cage to use later on in the round. Another example, if you keep smoking off a one-way angle that he uses with his cyber cage, he can no longer use that one-way with his cyber cage. So it forces him out into watching from a different area and it basically just nullifies any sort of one-way cage that he previously had set up. Same thing with tripwires, right? If he's putting it in the same spot every round, just destroy them, right? It makes them useless, makes them basically worthless. He's wasting $200 every single round buying tripwires when they're absolutely worthless. It's just all about being creative and just doing what you can to play around the cipher, right? You don't have to hard counter the cipher. You just have to make small tweaks in your gameplay just to play around the cipher so you and your teammates can have an easier time attacking the bomb site against him. A lot of people also like to attack the bomb site where Cypher isn't playing. Um, the, the reason is because Cypher is terrible on attacking, and that means he's also terrible in a post plant situation where he needs to retake a bomb site. So, a lot of the times, people actually keep attacking the bomb site where Cypher isn't playing to force the Cypher to start playing that bomb site. And then, once they worked out he's swapped bomb sites, then you can also go back to attacking the other bomb site. So, for example, if you're on split, you start attacking A because Cypher is most commonly played on B, and let's say they decide to make a change, start playing Cypher at A, then you go back to attacking B. So basically you're just trying to mind game the Cypher into attacking the site where he's not playing and force him into a situation where he constantly has to retake, 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 and it's very hard as a Cypher to retake, right? You don't have very much utility to retake with. You don't have flashes. You have a cage, but it's not very good um, to act as a smoke, and there isn't very much else in his kit that can help him, right? If he has his camera still up, he can potentially use his camera to retake, but at the end of the day, the camera is very, very quickly detected. You can shoot it down, you can destroy it and not give him any information before he activates it. So you wanna put him in a situation where he's forced to attack. And if you force Cypher to attack, that's a good thing because Cypher's kit is terrible for attacking. 
All right, so that's gonna be it from me. Those are five tips to counter Cypher. Hopefully they're useful next time you come up against a Cypher in competitive matchmaking. I hope you all enjoyed the video or you at least learned something. If you did, please hit that like button below. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm and I'm trying really hard to grow this channel. Making three videos a week currently and I'm doing this on top of my full-time job. So I would really appreciate it if you can help me out by hitting that like button. Any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below or you can come and ask me on Twitch. I stream pretty much every weekday, 9.30 p.m. onwards, Australian Eastern Standard Time, twitch.tv slash come and check me out. And if you haven't subscribed already, if you wanna see more videos like this or you enjoy my videos, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That'll let you know when I upload new videos. But thanks a lot for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I'll catch you all in the next one.